Rochette. You can see her just go for that other gear. My name is Magali Rochette and I want to be the best cyclocross racer in the world. Mia, you want to say bye? To challenge myself, I felt like I needed something that was a really hard goal that would really kind of motivate me to push myself every day and wake up every day thinking like, yes, this is, this is the big goal and this is why I'm doing this. When Magali left the, uh, the Cliff Bar team a few years back, we, we knew we could do a full season with what we had saved. And so we went on and we started approaching partners with the goals. Uh, the goal was to be on the podium, eventually win world champs in Fayetteville, Arkansas, which are in four months from now, five months from now. We have the best equipment in the world. We have the best partners in the world. Mag's doing the best training she's ever done. Uh, she's happy, we're in good spirits, we're, uh, we're doing everything we can. You know, we don't have Olympics for cyclocross, so Worlds in North America for us is a little bit like our Olympics. So this is our Olympic year. I had this big goal, this big dream, and I thought, I mean, I knew it was ambitious, but I thought it was possible because of the previous results I had had. And I told them, yeah, I'm going to that race and I would I'd like to be in four years one of the best cyclocross racers in the world and do you want to do you want to get on this adventure with us and luckily they said yes. I really enjoyed that we have our own program and what I enjoy with that is that there's a flexibility we get to choose how we want to do things and also I really really enjoyed the relationships that I have with the partners that we have. So it's cool to be able to have those real human relationship with the people. And if I have an idea for a front project, well, I can contact them and do it. Yeah, I mean, there, there's people behind the brands that you work with and being able to have a relationship with these people is really special. For me, it's so energizing being able to talk to them and having them feel like they're really a part of this quest or this pursuit that we're on. So they're as involved as we are, you know. They, they want to give us the best equipment, but also the best supports. Last year was not a great season for me. So we went for four months in Europe, um, had some good races, but in general, I got my ass handed to me every weekend and it sucked. And so that's something that I have in my mind too, you know, like when I'm training this year, like I don't want to go back and suck again because that was not fun. And so I want to go back and feel like I'm the best version of myself. That's how we kind of prepared the training this year. Yeah, we really just stepped it up in terms of volume, but also in terms of intensity and really specifically to the things that I struggled with last year. But definitely this summer, oh my God, she was like, she is like 100% committed. I have never seen her like this, ever. Like she'll, she does nothing else but train. The girls on the circuit have been a little bit stronger than, than me, even if, when I'm on my best days. So I had a gap to fill and to bridge. And so we're really pushing the limit so we can bridge that gap in terms of training. Big things, you have to.
It's really easy to make, like, to think you're good when you're training alone at home, you know? But it's a very different story when you show up at a World Cup and everyone's been training super hard. So I keep, I keep that in mind every day, like, okay, I think I'm good now, but like, let's keep pushing because who knows, you know? Maybe I'm really far from where I want to be. So it's always a little stressful going into the first few races because of that. It's just so much unknown, like, is it, you know, is it good or do I still have a lot of work to do? So I think it's a good doubt and a good stress to have though, because it allows you to keep pushing. For three years, we've all been working towards that one goal. And now it's here. It's time to go all in. <laughs>